In this video, I'll show you how to make a 100% stacked bar chart from a contingency table. So first, you're going to highlight just the row and column labels and our data. We're going to ignore our totals from our spreadsheet. Then we're going to go up to the menu and choose Insert, Chart. And Google Sheets has created a chart, but is it what we want? So let's check it out. We notice that across the bottom we have all of the colors, and then we have red and blue colors to represent the yes and no for students married. So this is a column chart, and it does give us counts for our different variables, but it's not a 100% stacked bar chart, so or column chart. Let's go up to the chart editor, and from the setup, we're going to choose the chart type that, from the drop-down menu, is in the column section and then over to the right, 100% stacked column chart. Now, I use the word bar chart, but technically in Google Sheets, columns are vertical and bars go side to side. Although many textbooks usually use the word bar to mean vertical or horizontal bars. All right, let's select our chart. Here we go, we have yeses and noes. That is the chart title, which I think we should change. Let's change it to marital status. grouped by color. So we have the colors at the bottom and then each bar is divided into red or blue proportionately according to marital status. So notice that the vertical axis is in percents. So let's show that. We're going to go over to the chart editor and under customize we want the menu chart and axis title. We're going to go to the vertical axis title and change this to percent or percentage. And then on the horizontal axis title, we do want to give a little bit of description. We can read that there's colors, but what was it? Horizontal axis color was favorite color chosen by student. If you don't want to see your legend across the top, you can change where that is. Go over to the chart editor, customize, and then click on legend. And instead of the auto position, you can make it on the top, bottom, left. I tend to like them on the right. I also notice that the yeses and noes are not very descriptive. So I'm going to double click on the word no, and I can change the text label. So I'll say not married and then double click on the other option. So see how the box opened up? I can type right in there, or I can also type over here in the chart editor. So let me type in married. All right, that's a little bit more descriptive. We can also make another type of 100% stacked bar chart. So maybe I don't want color along the bottom, but I would rather see marital status on the bottom. So let's move our graph, clicking and then drag it around. I'm actually going to change my entire table. So I'm going to highlight my table and copy it. So Command C or Control C. I'm going to pick another cell somewhere in the spreadsheet. And to paste it, I'm going to go up to Edit, Paste Special, and all the way to the bottom, Paste Transposed. So this is going to flip our rows and columns. So now my columns are the colors and my rows are the yeses and nos to being married. So when I follow the same process here of highlighting my counts and my labels and then insert chart, here's a chart, but now the grouping along the horizontal axis is yeses and nos. I'll change the chart type to 100% stacked, just like before. And then I'll go through and I'm going to customize my chart and axis titles. So my horizontal axis title came up first, so let's change that. Is the student married? Question. Vertical axis is percent. Chart title. And I will say that this is favorite color, 
recruit by marital status. There we go. We have a 100% stacked bar chart for the other switched around contingency table.